This is the uh, Algebra 1 end of course practice test 2, question number 54. The question says, which equation best represents the graph of the line? Now, let's scout the problem first. You're in your, it's in your best interest to scout things uh, before you even bother with anything. Let's look at the intercepts and the slopes. That's really all they're asking you to do here. You can do this problem without graphing all of them. You're welcome to go into your calculator and graph every answer choice, see which one matches the best. You don't need to bother with it. We know that in slope intercept form, that the M, or the thing in front of the X, represents a slope, and the B represents the Y intercept. So, which is the point on the Y, uh, that it, the Y axis that it crosses. Now, if I look at the slope only, and it looks like L, S, L, P, P, E, and that's because my pen's acting weird. Um, so, if we look at the idea of the slope here, we can see this is a positive slope. Slope is always measured from left to right, much like when you read. So this is a positive slope because it's going up. So what we need to look at is eliminating anything that has a negative slope. Well, in front of the x for c, there's a negative, and same thing for d. So we know the answer is not c or d. The other part would be the intercept, and this drops right here so probably somewhere around negative 9, because it's in the negatives. And only one of the two an answers left over has negative 9 in it, right here. See, this is plus 9, so that's out. So the only answer choice is B. Not super difficult to get this one correct, but if you wanted to validate all your answers and graph them and make them look right, so you want to go into your calculator and go to the Y equals section. I'm going to eliminate all this stuff that I wrote. Um, and you'd have to d I have to delete out a bunch of stuff just because if you wanted to go in and type all of them in you're certainly likely to find the answer but we think it's B or I think it's B anyway you may not think anything about it or you may think that I'm wrong which is totally fine you should test for yourself I'm assuming so see how it crosses underneath here way down at negative 9 and then um, it has like that positive slope so the answer is still B either way but you could save yourself a ton of time on the graphing questions in some cases just by scouting to make sure the answer makes any sense so good luck